Hello everyone. Um, recently I made a video expressing how much I love SciHub. That's SCI-HUB dot IO. And for now, because they might lose their domain again, just like the Pirate Bay and have to move somewhere else. But uh, I love them because you can get behind paywalls and see you know, research that is in journals that charge $30 here, $30 there, to read all of these incredible claims that you hear that come out of peer-reviewed research these days. Um, <clears throat> so, knowing that I love this sort of thing, um, a friend of mine who goes by the name Alul the Apprentice here on YouTube, he sent me a link to an article about a biologist who skipped the peer review process and started publishing on BioRx IV, a different website. And um, he used the hashtag ASAP Bio. And so I, I liked this too, so I shared it to my Facebook page. And the inevitable question that came up, just like when I uh, talked about SciHub, it, it, it came again. Does this not disrupt? the peer review process. And so, uh, while I was out, my girlfriend handled the rebuttal to this one, and she said, well, peer-reviewed journals these days are putting out uh, such bullshit as feminist glaciers and schizophrenia caused by demons. And I was like, whoa, whoa. Um, say that again? Feminist glaciers... Citation, please. I, I did not know about this. And so uh, she gave me some links, and I followed them, and, and holy shit, she's right. Wow. The article is called Glaciers, Gender, and Science, A Feminist Glaciology Framework for Global Environmental Change Research. And so... Uh, link in the description box and I'll give you the IO number sorry the DIO number and uh, you know how to use SciHub because I've made a video about that before so you can get your hands on this paper and as I was reading it I, the, the gist of it is okay so geologists who specialize in, in glaciers the glaciologist um, they have to pay attention to the effects of the glacier on local communities, whether the glacier causes floods or the glacier is disappearing and that's affecting the local economy. And so because they sometimes have to think about what are the effects to the local uh, population, they should also pay attention to how that local population is rural and so it, uh, well, it, it, it has women who are oppressed by patriarchy. So, to be a, a good glaciologist, you should also be a feminist. And when I heard this, I just had Anita Sarkeesian's uh, voice echoing in my head, saying, everything is racist, everything is sexist, and you have to point it all out! You know? And I don't even think she would have considered glaciers something that you had to worry about the gender of or the gender of uh, the, the people studying it maybe 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 but wow this is some fucking bullshit that my taxpayer money was spent on shit wow fucking grants from my fucking government paid for this shit and uh, it reminds me of, of like the last time uh, all babies are atheist season rolled around and people made the inevitable argument, you know, well, are rocks atheists? Are trees atheists? And phew, now we have to wonder about the gender of glaciers because we now have feminist glaciology because argumentum ad absurdum has now become the norm.